this is Leslie here from Leslie's Voice and in this video today I am going to talk about how to crack a voice in a sun round in a job interview. So you need to understand what is a voice in a sun round. So voice in a sun round is get to understand how well you can communicate, how well you can speak without grammatical error and whether you really have MCI that is mother tongue influence. So if you don't have mother tongue influence, if you can speak well without grammatical error and if you can speak fluently in English then you will be able to crack this round, right? So why this round and when they will be ask, uh, keeping you, putting you in this round? You have to understand that as well. So if you are going for a job for a customer support role or a technical support role, then this round will be a mandatory hiring round for all the companies. So for example, in the job that you are going to getting hired, if you are going to speak to the customers over phone, then voice and lesson round is a mandatory hiring round in all the companies. So you have to check if you are going for a customer support or a technical support role, be ready, be prepared to crack this voice and lesson round. Okay? And uh, how they ask questions in this voice and lesson round is another important thing that you know, need to know. Basically, they will start the conversation like, can you tell me about yourself? So when they ask you, can you tell me about yourself, you will be going on about your education, about yourself, about your family, etc. And about your hobbies, right? So from that, they will ask another sub-question, like uh, you said that your hobby is traveling. Can you tell me about uh, what is the holiday destination that you prefer and why do you prefer that? So when they ask a question like that, you should be able to give a detailed answer why you prefer that as a holiday destination and what are the aspects that you have in that holiday destination. For example, if you are talking about Goa, then why Goa is your you know, preferred holiday destination and what are the things or what are the locations or what, are, what you can really do in Goa. So they will try to put you in a difficult situation that you don't expect and try to go, uh, understand how well you can communicate in that situation. That's the main agenda or main objective of this voice and ascent round. And the other way of checking your voice and uh, you know, communication skill in this round is, they may ask you, can you describe about the room that you are currently present in? So you may, if you are attending the interview, you may attend the interview in a room, right, in an interview room. You should able to describe about the room, for example, if they ask you this question, can you describe about the room currently you are in? You should say this room is very nice and this room has a, a you know, four sides of glass filled wall and two chairs and this room has a table and a phone, telephone, etc. like this. So you should be able to describe that room in a very well way so that you can impress them using your communication skill. So this is what they check normally in voice and lesson form. So you should be prepared to answer such kind of sub-questions in a voice and lesson form. Okay. So my suggestion in this round is, when you go for this round, be prepared to answer your tell me about yourself. So when you tell me, give the answer for tell me about yourself, make sure you choose your hobbies or uh, you know, you prepare about the location that you are coming from. For example, I can say, I am Leslie, I am coming from Kanyakumar district. The next question the interviewer may ask, ask me, like, can you describe about your Kanyakumar district? So I should be ready to answer such questions. And uh, at the same time, if I am telling you about a hobby, I can tell about, I know cooking, my hobby is cooking. So if I say cooking, they might ask me, like, how, what do you cook? And tell me the process of cooking the same. So when you say a process, it's much easier than telling about something else. So I suggest you to answer a, answer this question in that way, in uh, preparing your, uh, you know, uh, when you prepare for this voice and ascent round, prepare that you should know, prepare these questions, sub-questions like uh, tell me about your uh, hometown, tell me about your, uh, you know, holiday destination or tell me about your hobby, right? These kind of sub-questions you should be able to answer. If you are able to answer such sub-questions, you will be able, easily able to clear this round. And another important thing that I want to tell you on about this voice and ascent round is, this is a major rejection round. And if you get shortlisted in the, this round, you will be easily getting, short, getting this job for a customer support a representative or a technical support representative. So this is the major crucial round to clear. So that you should prepare for this round very thoroughly and you should take these tips and understand and prepare before going for the interview.
Hope you like this video. Thank you very much for watching.